As you all know, life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision. Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Adisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medis is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I think so too. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimonies. And if that's the case, then the monarchs might not be the only ones manipulating Emma. Which means it could be someone at Medis. Or our mystery observer. Or our head honcho down there. Or perhaps someone completely different. Yeah, well, we just gotta stick to what Gramps was telling us, right? All we can do is keep solving cases and collect more info. Long as the Phantom Thieves of Hearts do what they do best, we'll set this shit straight. Wow, Ryuji. That was pretty insightful. I'm surprised. He's right. And in that sense, attending this lecture is a valuable use of our time. Let's make sure we pay attention all the way to the end. <laughs> Yo, how long was I out? So, what did the dude say? Oh, can I smack you? Well, he didn't exactly say anything out of the ordinary. Then again, I wouldn't expect him to trip up that easily. Well, I'm starving, so maybe we should just head back? That guy was talking for friggin' ever. Hey guys, that stuff you said earlier, was all of that true? Huh? Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Mona? Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard. The hell are we gonna do? Whoa, stop, stop. It's all right. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. <sighs> well, that was a fine waste of time. Now what am I gonna tell him? I know I had an appointment. What kind of jerk ducks out on the police? We have some breaking news. Huh? Earlier, Akira Kanoe, better known as the CEO of Medis, held an emergency press conference, during which he announced that Emma, his company's latest virtual assistant, will cease service for the time being. What? First, let me start by addressing our users and apologizing for any inconveniences that may affect you. Emma's servers were indeed hacked. That much has been confirmed. Even more regrettable is the fact that some of your personal data was leaked in the attack. For that, I'm deeply sorry. 
As a company, we understand how valuable your privacy is and have taken appropriate measures to remedy this breach. That's why our company is suspending all instances of Emma until further notice. As for who was behind this horrendous attack, it was the Phantom Thieves, the very same terrorists causing all sorts of mayhem as of late. What? In addition to their heinous crimes, they've even murdered one of our very own, all to steal his research. From there, they had everything they needed to break through Emma's defenses. Murdered? That's bullshit! It seems we're the latest victim in what appears to be a string of related incidents. There are several other cases in which these criminals stole information and used it to harass their victims. If the Phantom Thieves are listening, I have a word for you, cold-blooded killers. We will never succumb to your threats. Not me, not my company, not Emma. You claim to want justice, yet you steal precious data and leave our finest for dead. I can't wait to see the day you're punished. And that sums up the press conference. The police have been notified regarding this case and are looking to arrest the Phantom Thieves as soon as possible. Now you're done it, Phantom Thieves. You goofed up big. They really went and bumped a guy off? Damn it! You just had to go and ruin Emma too. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Damn it. Why is no one picking up? Son of a... Mr. Kanoe, the Emma app developed by your company, Medis, has become immensely popular all around the world. With Japan's creative industries starting to reach their limits, it's wonderful to hear about such a remarkable breakthrough in AI technology. I hear many have high expectations for you as a leading figure in this country, Mr. Kanoe. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say I'm all that. I do plan to do the best I can, though. The world is about to undergo a massive transformation, and I'm hoping to steer it in the right direction. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're too kind. Well, sounds like you've got their support. That reminds me. I've heard that Emma's servers are kept at the Tokyo Radio Tower. Way back when, the Tokyo Radio Tower was used to usher Japan into a new era of communication. Perhaps this time around, Emma will play a similar role and bring us into the age of AI. Yes, that's certainly the idea. As of now, AI is still a fledgling technology, but I've no doubt that it's going to make all of our lives that much easier. And as a testament to that, it's worth noting there were several areas that openly lamented the halt in Emma's service the other day. Why do you think the Phantom Thieves would target Emma of all things? Naturally, Emma holds a vast amount of personal data. Perfect target for a gang of crooks, if you ask me. Or perhaps they're just opposed to my ideas of AI making the world a better place. All that talk about them being champions of the meek and downtrodden is likely no more real than those cheap masks they hide behind. They threaten anyone they disagree with and rob them of their free will if they don't comply. Evil people performing evil deeds. Nothing more. We won't be defeated by some ragtag group of petty criminals. I'm more than determined to battle their injustices to the very end. Mr. Kanoe, you held a press conference the other day and mentioned your distinct hatred for the evils of this world. Might that stem from personal experience? <sighs> yeah. Yes, I suppose you might say that. Uh, as a child, I was caught in a rather unfortunate incident in which I lost someone very close to me. I'd wager it was that incident that caused me to harbor such disdain for wrongdoing. However you look at it, I can't allow the Phantom Thieves to continue doing as they please. I couldn't agree more. I think we'd all like to see this Phantom Thieves case resolved as soon as possible. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with, yes? 
Yes, they're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Well done, Mr. Kanoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. Please, none of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Now, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but what say we have a celebration of sorts? I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Till then. Calm ended. Filth! Flapping those fat jowls of his. Roaches like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. You are absolutely right, Akira. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto Jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Very well. And, uh, just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts. Is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now, to wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. Birdcage? So this place has one too! Every jail we've seen so far has. But why would Kanoe's jail possess one? Is he not the mastermind behind all this? I don't know. Kanoe's supposed to be the one who created the jails. So he would have to know how they work. It wouldn't make sense otherwise. In which case, the only explanation is that he's trapped himself here with trauma of his own. Why would he do something like that? It could be necessary to creating a jail. Does that mean Kanoe's got some dark past too? A guy that confident? I don't know. Doesn't really fit his image if you ask me. So what's the plan then? You said we need a key if we want to open this thing, right? That's correct. And we can get a hint as to its whereabouts by touching the birdcage. Come on, again? No, let me do it. I could use the experience. Good luck. Make sure you don't let go right away. Don't go crying on us, Gramps. Huh? Yeah! Oof, listen to that wolf howl. I've heard stories of cries that could shake the heavens. Could this be one of them? It's almost operatic. You guys don't even know, man. That shit seriously hurts. Quiet. I hear something. <laughs> Abuse? Please, that's ridiculous. We do have a dog. Maybe that's what they heard? Right, Akira? Hey, whose voice is that? It doesn't seem to be Kanoe's. But he said Akira. Isn't that Kanoe's first name? Whether it was your dog or not, Kanoe-san, we got a tip that you've been physically abusing your son. Apparently, Aki Raccoon has a scar on his arm to prove it. Look, he fell over. How many times do I have to say it? Are we done here? I'd like to be left alone. You little shit! You see all this trouble you're causing me? Keep your goddamn mouth shut and do as I say! What the hell was that? Kanoe's past. We were viewing the trauma he keeps locked away in his heart. Trauma? There, there. Good boy. Who's a good boy? What am I, a pet? You guys could have warned me about that. Well, it's not like you asked. <laughs> I feel like I've heard that excuse before. Yeah, from yourself. Getting back on track. I heard one of the voices mention something about abuse. Was Kanoe abused by his father? That's terrible! 
He's pretty messed up, but it doesn't justify all the skeevy shit he's been doing. Indeed. What's past is past. Nothing changes the fact that Akira Kanoe is an incredibly dangerous man who changes others' hearts and robs them of their free will. Right. We've got to stop him. So if being abused is the source of his trauma, then what exactly is his plan here? Just gonna have to ask him about it. Up close and personal. Yeah, but first, we need the key to the birdcage. Let's head back to the real world and try to find the source of that voice. Hey, Joker? Was Kanoe really treated badly by his own father? Senkichi and Akane were on bad terms. But nothing like that ever happened between them. Why did that happen to Kanoe? Aren't they family? So some humans are just like that then. Joker, do you think family is important? So it comes to you so naturally that you don't even have to think about it? If I ever get family or friends, I want to support them as much as I can. I learned that from the Phantom Thieves. I wonder how Kanoe must have felt back then. Hey, come on you two, let's get going! Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's go, Joker. This is the place. So, this is Akira Konoe's family home? Do you suppose Konoe's father still lives here? Mm -mm, no. He died 20 years ago. What? I found some police records of an incident that happened here back then. A burglar forced his way into the home and stabbed Konoe's father to death. How tragic. Most items of value were gone. So it was ruled as both a robbery and a homicide. They never found the culprit. And and what did Kanoe do? He lived here too, right? He was eight years old at the time, and was the only survivor. Apparently he managed to hide in a closet. If this is the birthplace of Kanoe's trauma, we'll probably uncover the truth about his father's murder as well. Yes, let's do what we came here to do. Keyword now. Everyone, get ready to enter. To 
this room. Are we inside the house now? Looks like it. Twenty years into the past. Whoa! Who's that? Is that... Kanoe's father? You little shit! What do you think feeds you every day, huh? I swear you're just a bill. All you do is eat up my hard-earned money! <laughs> Talk back to me! Somebody... Please... <sighs> no! I can't watch this anymore! Keeping you around is a real pain in the ass. Maybe I should just... Kill you two. Two? If she just handed over the money when I told her to. Nobody ever takes me seriously. No. Not mom. You didn't. Here he comes. Enemy of evil. Champion of those in need. Listen up, viewers. It's time to band together and call for Zipperman, protector of justice. Zipperman! Get it now. There are no heroes. No one's coming to save me. It's up to me. I have to become stronger. I have to. I'll kill you. And then I'll be the hero. What the fuck are you mumbling about, you freak? Not like it matters. You'll be joining your mother soon enough. I'll kill you! Joke to people. You want to die? Trust me. I'll be glad to get rid of you. This guy's sick. He really killed his own wife over some money? Unbelievable. That monster. How could anyone do something so awful? Persona, you're mine. Persona. Did you just die already? You're mother you with your wit! Why don't you? Watch out! She can still attack while it's moving! Fortuna! Sarah's body! I'll use this. I appreciate Let's go! Ganesha! His power! Super got in a follow up attack! Don't let yourselves get caught up in the trump. Try to stay calm. Yeah, well, it's hard to stay calm after the shit we just saw. Thank <laughs> you. 
We put that ass wipe in his place. Akira Kanoe. <laughs> if what we just saw actually happened in the past, then Akira Kanoe escaped an abusive childhood and avenged his mother by killing his own father. He must have framed the entire thing as a robbery in order to avoid suspicion. You're saying he's a victim of some high and mighty shitbag, too? He must have felt so trapped. There was nobody he could turn to. He set out to become his own hero, and the power to change hearts helped him do just that. It's just too sad. There had to be another way. There just had to. Hey, cool it. Whatever his past was, it doesn't justify what he's doing now. Nothing makes it okay for him to take control of people against their will. If we don't stop him now, more and more people are gonna get hurt. You're all thinking the same thing, aren't you? My thoughts exactly. Great. If we don't stop him here, then nothing's ever going to change. Let's do everything we can for now. While it's true we need to change Kanoe's heart, let's not forget we also need to save those whose desires he's stolen. And it's time we bust out the calling card. Oh yeah! That's kind of your thing, isn't it? Yeah! We'll change his heart and take back everyone's desires. Okay, let's head back to the car and come up with a plan. So, about the calling card. How exactly do we want to do this? Hmm, we need a place where we know Kanoe will see it. What about sending it to his company? The police will probably be crawling all over the place. It's too dangerous. After all that stuff he said about us on TV, I'd really like to stick it to him good. Give him something he'll remember. We could always try pulling a repeat of Shibuya. Huh? Where'd Gramps go? He said he had something to take care of. He's probably with Akane. Let's just leave them be for now. All right. Well, maybe we save the calling card planning for tomorrow then. How come? I mean, you know, because Zenkichi's part of the team now, isn't he? I feel like he'd be missing out if he wasn't here for his first calling card. Plus, he's kind of got a lot invested in this after everything that happened to Akane. That's true. All signs point to Kanoe being the one who turned her into a monarch. Zenkichi's definitely got a bone to pick with him. Alright, we'll wait to bring Zenkichi in on the plan. All 
right, we'll figure out the calling card tomorrow. It's been one intense fight after another, so let's get some rest and get back to it bright and early. Hey, is it just me, or has Yusuke not said a word since we got back? <sighs> wow, out cold and still standing. Dude's got all sorts of weird talents. Commissioner Kaburagi? You look better than I thought you would. How'd it feel being on the other side of an interrogation for once? <laughs> I managed to pull through. Guess I'm getting a little old for this, huh? More importantly, though, I heard something interesting from the Nijima lawyer. She told me the reason she was able to get me out was because she had help from a certain someone. I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Anyhow, did you have business with me? Commissioner, I'd like you to help me. I'm going to arrest Awada. He's been behind the scenes with each and every change of heart case. Akira Konoe is the one who commits the crimes, while Awada sits back and capitalizes on them. They plan to cover up the truth by putting all the blame on the Phantom Thieves. I think they've even changed the hearts of some of us on the Force. And I'm talking pretty high up the chain of command. Hmm. If we don't act now, we'll never be able to stop them. Please, Commissioner. I can't do this without you. Do you have any evidence to bring Awada in? I'm on the verge of getting Konoe to confess. If we do that, we can expose all of Awada's crimes. You really think Konoe will talk? He'll crack. I know he will. How can you be so sure? Are you planning to use the Phantom Thieves to change his heart? Sorry, but... I just can't tell you. Commissioner Kaburagi, do you remember what you said to me back when Aoi died? You told me you would cleanse this whole rotten organization someday. And that I just had to wait for the right time. That time is now. Please. I need your help. <laughs> You've changed, Hasegawa. Your little stunt cost me my chance at Senior Commissioner. Even my current title is in a state of uncertainty. I need to do something to restore my credibility. If I wanted to, I could serve all of you up to Awada on a silver platter, and he'd owe me everything for it. Did that ever occur to you? <laughs> Your sense of justice would never allow it. <laughs> my, my. You have three days. If you say you can do it, then by all means, make it happen. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. And... I'll give back your badge as well. Uh, are you sure? Fair warning. If you screw this up, I'll be covering my own safety above all else. No second chances. Do you hear me? I won't forget this, Commissioner. Shall I follow him, ma'am? Forget it. He'll just throw you off. Actually, I have a more pressing task for you. I want you to find out everything you can about the Commissioner General. The... Commissioner General, ma'am? I'm not one to pull punches. Never have been, never will be. So, you're sure the Phantom Thieves have been dealt with, yes? Yes. They're being held in the jail as we speak. I've got Emma keeping an eye on them. Well done, Mr. Konoe. There really is nothing that can stand up to you in that AI of yours. Please, none of this would have been possible without your assistance, sir. Emma will show us the way forward. Now, I may be getting a little ahead of myself, but what say we have a celebration of sorts? I'll go ahead and reserve us someplace nice. I think you're in for a real treat. Looking forward to it. Till then. Call ended. Filth. Flapping those fat jowls of his. Roaches like him are the very reason why this world needs someone to enact justice. You are absolutely right, Akira. We'll have to hurry with making Operation Oraculi a reality. More importantly, how are things in the Kyoto Jail? No issues to report. The Phantom Thieves are still under confinement. Very well. 
And uh, just so we're clear, there's no way to change their hearts. Is that correct? That is correct, Akira. It is impossible. Well, if you say so, it must be. We'll just have to let them rot, won't we? Now, to wrap this up. At this point, nothing can stand in my way. I'll take over this entire country. No, the whole world. So, I heard you guys were waiting for me to get back. You guys are surprisingly particular, you know? It's the first calling card we're sending out since you joined. Figured you'd want to be there for it. Well, it's not like I haven't helped out with one already. It doesn't seem like that big a deal. That's why we have a little proposal for you. Why don't you write this one, Zinkichi-san? But me? But I've never written one before. Yes. Remember what Kanoe did to Akane. You simply need to express your rage. <sighs> well, it's true. He does have to answer for that. All right, that takes care of the calling card. Now we just gotta figure out how to send it. Hey, I didn't agree to anything. He's so comfortable badmouthing us on TV. Maybe it's time we gave him a taste of his own medicine. Copy the enemy's strats? <sighs> how about an online broadcast? <sighs> we need more impact. Could we just hand deliver it, maybe? If we want to get arrested, yeah. What do you think? I'm not sensing a clear winner here. Hey guys, check it out. Is that a blimp? Oh, you don't see them very often nowadays. That's the Reagan Bogan. It's the only airship in Japan that's currently in service. It seems it's being used to advertise Emma for Medis at the moment. For Medis? Apparently, it circles Osaka's airspace every day. Hmm, every day? You thinking what I'm thinking? <laughs> Way ahead of you. All right. Yes. Some kind of card? Wait, that's... Phantom Thieves? Is that actually real? Testing! One, two, one, two! Okay, looks like we're live! So, I just talk into this? You're not mad! Just say it! Uh, okay. <clears throat> Are you listening, Kanoe? Toying with innocent lives, slandering us. You've been busy, but so have we. Now it's payback time. Ready or not, here we come! To the villain who thinks he's a hero, Akira Kanoe. You stole the desires of countless people. And tonight, we're baking them, uh, I mean, taking them. Oh, you had one line! I meant to say that, baking them, you know, like in an oven. Seriously? It's a practice. The Phantom Thieves? Impossible! To the criminal tyrant masquerading as a hero, Sir Akira Kanoe. All subsequent references will henceforth be shortened to Party A. Party A has wronged multiple innocents by flaunting a false sense of justice and shifting the blame for the murder of one of his employees. On top of that, Party A is also guilty of wrongfully imprisoning a group of minors. Therefore, in addition to putting out a formal warrant of arrest for Party A's crimes, tonight the Phantom Thieves will commit some larceny of their own and take back every desire you've stolen? Is this some kind of joke? 
Emma, what the hell is going on? I, I thought we trapped them in the jail. Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Don't give me that, Emma! I'm your master! Now answer me, damn it! Unable to answer. Please ask a different question. Unable to answer. God damn it! You think you can change my heart? Wretched little urchins! I won't be defeated so easily. Taking back the desires? You think you can steal from me? Fools! I am the very hero these people have been praying for. The Phantom Thieves are the evil that stands in the way of that. Come then, let's see who changes who. Sorry to keep you waiting, you goateed prick! We're here to straighten out that crooked heart of yours! So you've come. A warm welcome to the terrorists who toy with others' hearts in the name of their self-righteous justice. The infamous Phantom Thieves. As if you've any right to talk. You who repeatedly takes control of whomever you please. And you even tried to pass us off as a bunch of killers. You're the real bad guy here. Huh. It would appear you haven't realized just how similar we are. What? We're one and the same. We both detest this rotten society and struggle day after day to combat it. With our power to change hearts, we strive to incite change among the masses. Don't kid yourself. There's no way you're the same as us. We all know about your past. It must have been terrible for you, but still, what you're doing now makes you no better than a common criminal. I change hearts in order to exterminate the evils of this world. Are we not essentially the same? I'm simply introducing a system to keep things in order. And by creating monarchs, I'm ensuring everything plays out according to plan. What are you talking about? When the cognitive world revealed itself to me, I took it as an act of divine revelation. It was my birthright to change this godforsaken planet. With the cognitive world in my grasp, I could wipe all evil from the face of the Earth. I would not waste such an incredible gift. But in order to see that dream realized, I needed a world that could be controlled. Controlled? What do you mean? I needed a world that would allow me to erase even the slightest traces of evil from people's subconscious minds. To that end, I required something that could reach everyone and bring them to submission. Yes, it seems AI was the solution to that problem. Thus, the next step was to acquire Emma and have it learn more about cognitive science at the research lab in Okinawa. The end results were the jails created by Emma. Unique cognitive worlds in which no heart, no matter how cold, resisted the change. You're saying Emma made the jails? So that's why the jails were left standing even after we defeated the monarchs. The jails aren't perfect, mind you. A jail's area of effect only covers roughly one city. Peculiar has such a phenomenal power, has such a limited range. In order to change the hearts of all humanity, I needed nothing short of an army of monarchs. So I began gathering pawns. Powers, lamenting puppets who felt as hopeless on this earth as I once did. And do you know what happens when you grant people like that the power to change hearts? They welcome their newfound power with open arms. And by using Emma to guide them, keeping them under control is a meaningful task. With the monarchs I personally selected, I could change the hearts of the festering rabble that calls this rotten place home. With the monarchs at my command, I could change the heart of anyone who dares step out of line. That was the endgame. Operation Oraculi. But you phantom thieves had to show up and ruin everything. So when we started taking down your jails, you got scared that your plan would fail. 
That's why you used the police and turned Akane into a monarch. It was all an attempt to stop us. It's not too late. I can still erase these obstacles and start over. <laughs> You're still so naive. But eventually, even you will come to understand. Fight all you want. The most you can do is change the hearts of a scant few. Don't you see? That my way is far more efficient. So everything will be fine as long as you're the one making all the decisions? Who do you think you are? Some kind of god? You're just forcing your ideas on everyone else! What foolish logic. So when you change people's hearts, it's right. But when someone else does it, it's wrong. I've built an entire infrastructure for changing hearts. What was impossible for you, I have made a reality. As a hero, I will reign over the whole world with infallible justice. You used Akane for this ridiculous plan of yours? She was just an innocent girl. Everyone you've made a mama gets some form of trauma. But you treated them like tools, even toyed with their lives. You don't know the first thing about justice. Then do you believe you could have saved me? Huh? Let's say you had been around back then. Could you have saved me from my father? I had nowhere to run. I was just a scared, helpless child left to suffer by himself. Well, could you really have saved me? Even now, there are surely others being brought up in the same hell that I was. And yet you've done nothing to help them. Well, that's... You only destroy the evils you just happen to come across. But you'll never save everyone. Me, however. I have the power to change the entire world. No one will ever have to suffer as I did ever again. And to do that, you need something beyond what the Phantom Thieves can offer. You need more than some childish heroic fantasy. But that's not justice. All you're doing is brainwashing everyone. You're taking away their freedom, who they are. And what's the difference? Both of us change the hearts of others against their will. So how am I any different from you? <sighs> Don't you understand? What? For you, changing someone's heart means imprisoning them. But for the Phantom Thieves, it means setting them free. You may steal desires like them, but the Phantom Thieves give people hope. Maybe you don't realize it, but I think, deep down, you know you're nothing like them. It seems there's little point in discussing this further. If we can't reach an understanding, then only one side can remain. It's time to decide which of us truly walks the path of justice. <laughs> there aren't any real heroes left. So, why not make our own? The world needs someone willing to fight for its people's justice. A hero to lead them, to unify them. A hero like me! <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Shoot him down. his determination. Just 
what justice really is. And we don't mean to say that what we're doing is always right either. But we're definitely not just gonna sit back while you tell everyone what to do. It's true, there are days when I wish to immerse myself in my work. Days when I'd rather be wandering around town. There are also days when I wish simply to spend time with those close to me. To throw all of that away and do only what the person in front of you says. Why at that point you're nothing but a slave to fate. All you're doing is taking away people's rights to choose for themselves, and denying them their freedom. When it comes down to it, it's no different from what your father did to you. Trampling upon the one thing that makes us human. That's the very evil you claim to hate. Are you saying I'm the evil one? We choose the roads we take. We don't let anyone tie us down. And we do so because we want to walk our own paths our own way. But... If I fall here, then what will become of the world? There are no heroes. I'm the only one who can save it. Are you sure? I've seen the monarchs, and the people whose hearts you've changed. They didn't look happy at all. I don't think you saved anyone doing what you did. <sighs> you know, Kanoe, the world is full of evil. And there's plenty of scum out there who seem well beyond redemption. But there are some, like the Phantom Thieves, who refuse to give up. And there are people out there who, thanks to these guys, finally got the courage to crawl their way out of the darkest depths of hell. People who managed to awaken the hero inside themselves. Isn't that how we'll make this world a better place? <sighs> what you're trying to do will just erase those heroes. Some before they even get their chance. Can anybody really know peace if they're forced to be stuck that way all the time? I'd be erasing the heroes. Kanoe, it's not the people who need saving. If anyone needs it, it's you. Huh? Ever since you killed your father all those years ago, all you've ever done is run away, rotten as he was, having to live with the pain of killing your own flesh and blood knowing that you could be caught at any moment. You were alone. And getting stronger was the only way you could protect yourself. I... You're right. I... I killed my father. And I lied to escape the punishment. I called it justice, hoping that there'd never come a day when... I had to face the truth. But what I did back then... was just... evil. Then you know what you need to do, Kanoe. The hero you keep inside needs to save you from that evil. The hero I keep inside... I have to save myself. <laughs> I see now. It's been right there with me, all along. Very well. I admit defeat. I'll confess my crimes, and accept my punishment. 
Whatever it may be. I'll destroy Emma as well. You have my word. Phantom Thieves. If it's possible, I only ask that you please prove to the world that I was defeated by the real heroes of this story. Ones with a true sense of justice. Thank you. just have to wait and see. We certainly learned a lot. Emma? Noe's big plan? Noe said he taught cognitive science to Emma in order to create jails. Shutting down Emma should mean the jails will finally disappear. So our names are probably in the clear too, right? Well, that depends on Kanoe's confession, but I'm thinking it'll probably work out that way. <laughs> uh, hmm? What's so funny? <laughs> Nothing. Those things you said back there. It was nice to hear you talk about us that way. Agreed, though, in all honesty. I can't say I thought all of what Kanoe said was wrong. However, your words reminded me of precisely why we do this, Senkichi. That's one of the big reasons why we started the Phantom Thieves in the first place. To give courage to people. Yeah, that speech was top, Senkichi. Gotta give you props for that one. <laughs> Any more of this, and I'd say you were proud of me. Anyway, we've done what we set out to do. So, in the meantime... Since we're still here in Osaka, maybe we should get something to eat? Hell yeah! Osaka Feast Round 2 coming at ya! Then let's get our butts in gear! I'm talking deep fried skewers, pork buns, okonomiyaki! We've done nothing but eat since we got to Osaka. Eh, you're young. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Today's on me. Get whatever you want. Woohoo! Gramps got a heart of gold! Leave the search to me. I'll find us whatever you guys want. And our tour guide's coming in clutch. Sheesh, don't get too carried away, guys. We've got big changes on the horizon, you know? Osaka has a lot of top-tier sushi vendors, too. Sushi? What are we waiting for? Not so fast. Let us not forget the blowfish and crab hot pots. Hot pot again? Eh, whatever. Still down. Uh, hey, take it easy, you guys. I am Akira Konoe, founder and CEO of Medis. On behalf of the company, I have an announcement of grave importance. Recently, I stated my company had been targeted by the Phantom Thieves in an attempt to discredit our company. I now admit that this was a total fabrication, with no truth to it whatsoever. I, Akira Konoe, am the true culprit. I devised a plan to accuse the Phantom Thieves of a terrorist plot so I could conceal my own heinous crimes. Specifically, so I could abuse Emma and gain control of people's hearts. I publicly admit the virtual assistant app, Emma, contains a function that allows me to manipulate other people. Using specific language, I could change their hearts and make them do as I wished. Yes, this process is essentially brainwashing, and I have scores of evidence proving it works. The change of heart epidemic that has plagued this nation is entirely my own doing. By controlling people's hearts, 
I was able to make them do my bidding across the entire country, including horrific crimes. This includes the death of Shuzo Ubukata, the head researcher of our Okinawa research facility. Instead of taking responsibility for my actions, I shifted the blame onto the Phantom Thieves. I must also confess, these are not my only crimes. Over 20 years ago, I claimed that my father was killed during a home invasion, when the one who really killed him was me. I took my father's life and attempted to frame others for my crime, so I could avoid any repercussions. These are the crimes I confess to you all. As of today, I will be stepping down as CEO of Medis and turning myself in to the police. Emma will be shut down. The AI will be wiped from the service. All these terrible things were done for nothing but my own selfish desires. So now I must do the right thing and bring myself to justice. Controlling people's hearts? Is that real? Wait, Emma? Like the app, Emma? Oh shit, better delete that. Hinoe-san, I thought you were a hero to this country. I knew it. I knew the Phantom Thieves were really the good guys. <laughs> nice try there. Oh yeah! Yes! <laughs> it really worked! Come back when for the Phantom Thieves. We've brought down the Mastermind. Looks like the case is finally closed. Once we confirm Emma's no longer running, our work will be done. Yep. Once that's done, everything's up to the police and the courts. In fact, I'll head over and pick him up now. Good luck. I hope it goes well for you. Yep. Well, off I go. Now, what should the rest of us do? We'll probably hear all about it tomorrow. At that point, I suppose we should get back to Tokyo. So we're finally nearing the end of our journey. What say we wrap it up with a round of sightseeing? It looks like Osaka has plenty to check out. Ooh, sounds good here! So, once the jails disappear, the trip will be over. the deal we made? I joined the Phantom Thieves, and in return, I learned about the heart. I've experienced so much on this journey, and learned all sorts of feelings, but I still don't truly understand the heart. All this time, I've had the same query. What is the difference between you all and Kanoe? He was trying to help people, wasn't he? And the Phantom Thieves do the same thing. However, Everyone instead argues that Kanoe was wrong. What exactly was wrong? That is true. Kanoe didn't have any true companions. Like all of you, but there's something else. The Phantom Thieves lived their lives following their beliefs. But Kanoe and his monarchs, they couldn't do that. The Phantom Thieves must have strong hearts to live as they do. When our journey ends, I won't be able to help you anymore. And our deal will be finished. If the jails disappear, I won't be able to learn about myself anymore. What should I do? If I had a strong heart like the Phantom Thieves, maybe then I could choose my own path. Now hang on there, Sophia. I think you got the wrong idea. Just because we're going back to Tokyo, that doesn't mean your deal's up, right? Really? You think I'm kidding? The jails may go away, but we've still learned a whole lot on this trip. And there's gotta be some evidence about your past here in the real world. So how's about we all go looking for it together?
too. Oh, come on now, don't get me going too. We're all friends here. Feel free to hang out in this guy's phone as long as you like. In fact, we'd welcome the company. Thank you. Yo, what's the hold up, guys? Oh, whoops. Looks like we're being slow pokes. Let's get going. Mr. Kanoe, what is going on? Everything you said, was that true? Please, settle down. I'm sure Mr. Kanoe had his reasons for... <sighs> it's fine. I admit I've made so much trouble for you. Uh, I'm entirely to blame. I'm on my way to turn myself into the police now. I apologize for leaving the company in such a state. Mr. Kanoe. Allow us to spare you the drive. Excuse me, who are... We're the police. Akira Kanoe, you are under arrest. I'll spare you the list of charges. How great it is to return a favor, Akira Kanoe. And you are? The last monarch you installed was my only daughter. Uh... You toyed with and ruined countless lives, and now it'll be for nothing. You even used an innocent, grieving child for your own benefit. You're taking responsibility for what you've done. Uh, I'm so sorry. I was so desperate. I, I disregarded something so important. Free will. I was on the verge of stamping out what makes us truly human. I haven't turned out any different from my own father. On your feet. We'll hear it all at the station. All about the connection between Awada and the top brass on our force. There's nothing you can do to earn my forgiveness. But your confession can save the lives of a whole bunch of people. It's what you wanted, right? Now's your time to be the hero. Huh? It's all up to you. In that case, 